you guys want to trade the SPAC? In this video, we'll analyze WTI crude oil. We will take a look at your dollar and gold. We will analyze dollar yen pair, and I will share with you my analysis on dollar index. The today's video will be based on the today's live stream with my students. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and let's start. Yeah, so WTI crude oil, and as you remember from last week, we were very pure. And what was the reason? First of all, analyzing the short-term perspective on WTI crude oil. We see that the market here is trading in a bearish trend. We keep setting level lows and low highs. And what happened last week? The price set a new level low, level close. Again, we got a very strong support cluster right here. And the price violated that to the downside. And moreover, for a couple of these, we are already trading Below that structure, making me think that this breakout right here is valid and not false. Moreover, if we zoom out the chart, if we zoom out the chart and extend that horizontal structure, traders, take a look here on the left. We also have that major historical structure. Yes, the structure cluster that was respected many times in a row by the market. And the price not only violated that local demand cluster, that global demand cluster was violated to the new side. So it makes me think, it makes me think that oil will keep falling and we remain bearish. The closest strong structure support that we see on oil is right here yes analyzing the historical structures it is the closest area that was respected in the recent past so most likely this one will keep falling and we are very bearish biased on wti on euro was here on euro was here um so last week we shorted euro was we spotted this head and shoulders pattern and our short position was opened on a retest of a broken neckline of this one. So now what I did, I took my stop loss traders and moved that to entry. So the position is risk free right now and I really want you to protect your trading position as well. Yes, please take your stop loss and move it to entry. That is how we protect our trades. And let's keep holding. So Euro dollar is trading on that wide and important resistance. And so far, you can see that we set equal high respecting that important resistance. From another side, however, we have right here a very strong structure support, right? And we also have a trend line. So from one side, we have the contracting demand cluster right here. And from another, we have that resistance. And traders, remember that everything right here will depend on the breakout. Yes, if the price breaks and closes above that resistance, if we see a bullish violation of that resistance cluster, a daily candle close above that, then a bullish continuation will be expected to that resistance. Yes, it, and, and it will be the next goal for buyers. If the price, however, breaks and closes below that contracting demand cluster to the demon side, then the bearish movement will be expected, right? So for now, for now right here, we are patiently waiting for a breakout. A lot of questions about gold and let's execute the top down analysis there so you could better understand what is happening right now. And I want to start with the weekly time frame because a very important thing happened with gold on the weekly. First of all, traders, analyzing the price action, we should admit that the market is trading in a bureau trend. And even though recently we saw the strong bullish movement, remember that technically speaking for now, it is the correctional movement within this bearish impulse. And while the price respects that horizontal structure, while the price respects that horizontal resistance, 
we remain bearish biased and we expect a bearish wave from that resistance. And analyzing the candlesticks here on the weekly futures, take a look what I spotted right here. Testing that resistance, we formed a very cute doji candle on that. And what we knew about the doji, doji candle being formed on the key level is the indication of the weakness. And taking into consideration that previously the market was bullish, that doji is the indication of the weakness of buyers, right? So for now, traders, I remain bearish biased, and for now, I still believe that from that resistance, the market will drop. And I know that some of you want to buy, I know that some of you are very bullish and want to buy. I want to warn you that you should buy gold only after breakout of that resistance. Only when the price breaks and closes above that resistance on a weekly, only then a bullish movement will be expected. Only then a bullish wave will be expected to that resistance. Yes, so please remember about that. Now let's analyze what is happening on a daily. So in a daily time frame, as we earlier predicted, the price perfectly respected that horizontal structure support, and from that it bounced. The price bounced, and we retested that resistance, but for now we didn't manage to reach the, the high of this month. Now let's check the situation on a 4 hour. 4 hour time frame testing that resistance will also form the doji candle right here in the 4 hour and we got very nice rejections and after this rejections the price here formed a bearish engulfing candle confirming the strength of that structure. On an hourly time frame what I was watching carefully, I was watching carefully traders that rising channel. Yes, here it goes. You can see that we got here a very nice rising pearl channel and the price perfectly violated its support to the downside and clues below that. Now the broken support of the channel turned into resistance. And if you are looking for shooting opportunities for now, that is the closest point from where I would look for shorting. Yes, so I would suggest you look for an occasional retest of that to short from there. I believe, I believe that with a very high probability the market will manage to reach that support. So far it is the closest strong structure support that we see on gold and probabilities will be high that the price will manage to reach that, so pay close attention to that structure. What else to add? What else to add? I also wanted to, sh to share with you a very peculiar trend line that I spotted here analyzing the 4 hour. So if we take that structure loop, if we take that structure loop and draw a trend line, you can see that here we also have that peculiar rising trend line. Yes, and you can see that it was quite important for the market participants in the past and three times in a row the price bounced from that. As the extra layer of security, there's one more way to trade gold. We can let the price reach that yellow structure, that yellow structure resistance, let the price respect that, let, let the price reach that, and only then wait for a breakout of that trend line. The breakout of that trend line will give us much better risk to reward ratio. So that trend line should be definitely taken into consideration as well. So gold looks very peculiar to me traders and this work definitely will be important and remember traders that we remain very bearish biased and we assume that the price will manage to drop at least to that support. Lastly one more thing to add right here if you're looking for a swing short, if you are looking for a strong bearish wave you should look definitely for a breakout of that horizontal structure on a daily. Only when the price breaks and closes below that, only then, only then the market will drop. Yeah, so let's briefly take a look at dollar yen pair and let me share with you the update for this one. So as you remember, earlier on a dollar yen pair, we spotted this head and shoulders pattern on a key level. 
And as you remember, our plan was the following. We were waiting for its neckline breakout. And here were the boundaries of the neckline of this head and shoulders pattern. And we concluded that we strictly need a four hour candle close below that. You can see that the neckline wasn't broken. It was respected and from that the price beyond. So we are still waiting for a breakout. Yes, our plan for now is to wait for a breakout first. So the trade for now is not active. So on dollar index, what we spotted earlier together, we spotted the breakout of that horizontal structure. You saw it. Yes, we got a very strong support right here. That was broken and that turned into resistance from where we saw a very nice bearish reaction. One more thing that we spotted right here is that we got a very nice support cluster right here. Yes, based on that level. That was violated to the on side and the market closed below that on a daily, making us very bearish biased. Now, analyzing the four hour time frame, as you remember, traders on the four hour, we spotted a head and shoulders pad. Yes, here it goes. Approaching that resistance, the price formed a head and shoulders pattern right here and violated its neckline to the deal side. We got a confirmed breakout. And now we see its retest. And I believe, traders, I believe that dollar index will keep falling. And I believe that the market will manage to reach that support. Bias remains very bearish. And this one will most likely keep falling. Yes, so be prepared for a bearish continuation. All right, traders, let me know in the comment section what else do you want me to analyze for you. Also, traders, if you want to see how we analyze the market life, if you want to see how I treat the market life on a daily basis, please don't forget to check my premium educational group. The link in the description below. Also, traders, please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will see you on weekend. Thank you so much for watching.